What's up, Guam? I'm Dave Delgado. Welcome to KUAM Sports. Thanks for watching. Tonight on the show, I have your boys high school volleyball and girls high school soccer standings. I also have some women's tackle football along with footage from this year's playing pool event. But first off, some running news. Check it out. 44th Airport Squadron Reserve Association will be holding our third annual 5K fun run down at Epaw Beach Park. Uh, Showtime is at 5. Uh, go time is at 6 a.m. Uh, it will be uh, this weekend, Saturday, uh, April 27th. You can get our registration forms at Hornet Sporting Goods or check out our Facebook page. The Facebook page will be 44th APS Reserve Association 5K. And you can download the application from there. We'll also be at uh, Navy Gym and Anderson Gym for last minute registrations the day before. We'll be giving race shirts to the top 700 finishers. Certificates and prizes will be provided to first to third finishers in each division. Proceeds will benefit the 44th Aerial Port Squadron Association's MWR programs, and that goes towards uh, reciprocating towards the community, um, care packages for our, our brothers and sisters who are deploying and serving our country and our island. Let's take a look at some boys' high school volleyball highlights between the Islanders and Sharks while I break down the standings so far in this year's season. The Father Glorious Flyers and George Washington Geckos are currently tied for first place with identical records, both at 6-0. The St. John's Knights and St. Paul Warriors are also tied with 4-2 records. The JFK Islanders are 3-1, followed by the Ukudu Bulldogs at 3-2. The Harvest Eagles hold a record of 2 and 4. Southern is 1 and 3. Sanchez is 1 and 4. GAA, Guam High, and Notre Dame are all 0 and 4. Now for the girls' high school soccer standings, the Southern High Dolphins are in sole possession of first place with a perfect 7 and 0 record. Academy is in second at 4 1 and 1. JFK is in third at 3 1 and 3. Harvest is 3 1 and 1. Sanchez is 2-1-2, two, and, two. and D holds a record of 1-2-2, two, and two. Guam High is 1-3-1, one, one. GW sits at 2-3, St. John's is 1-3-3, three, three. Ukudu is 0-4-1, while St. Thomas is 0-5-1. In the Guam Women's Tackle Football League, Team Legacy is now the only unbeaten team left in the league after they handed Sindalu their first loss of the season, 47-12. Sindali jumped out to an early lead after their defense came up with a fumble recovery. They took the other way for a score to go up 12-0. Fatigue played a big role in the game as Legacy was able to stay fresh on offense, racking up score after score with the help of the defense. With the win, Legacy is now 4-0 while Sindalu drops to 3-1. Turning to other news, since 2006, the United Plain Pool event, with the support of over 4,500 participants, has raised over $206,000 for the American Cancer Society. 35 teams participated in the 8th annual event, with the co-ed team, Hala GTA Telegram, recording the fastest time of the day at 4.24 seconds. Today's our... 8th annual United Airlines plane pool for the American Cancer Society. Today we hope to raise over $20,000 to support the Relay for Life and the fight against cancer. We also have um, outside activities to help benefit the Guam Cancer Care Organization. We have a truck pool outside, we have a dunking booth, and we have a variety of concessions that will help uh, the Guam Cancer Care Organization as they um, help the fight against cancer. Thank you to all of the corporate sponsors for their generosity, their continuing uh, participant in, uh, participation in the organization. Thanks so much. Uh, you know, I know it's a, a big commitment on everybody's part, but I think it's a great uh, activity for everybody to participate in. Thank you so much. 